this vibration of consciousness increase, which is occurring now throughout the planet. Many of you cannot see this, or are not fully aware of this, for you are still ensconced within the third dimensional illusion at times. But at other times, you have left yourselves out of that illusion and have moved into more fully the fourth dimension, and that times, such as you've just had now, into the fifth dimension. Yes, all of you, in one way or another, experience this even for just a moment, the second you felt or experienced the bliss of the fifth dimension and what awaits you at the door to that fifth dimension. Yes, I use the door in a figurative way here, for you do not simply walk through a door, but you walk through timelines. That is where you are heading now, creating your own timelines ahead of you, creating the life, creating the experience that you want. That is what you came here to do, first for yourself, to let go of all the old programming, the old patterns that have continued to hold you through this illusion, the separation within the third dimension. But you are all moving past that now, all letting go of all that various points, various moments within your life now. Because you are aware. You are aware of the multidimensional reality of yourself. Even when you think you know the truth, there is always layers of separations, twists and turns, manipulation designed to manipulate your beliefs. These of world controllers have done a brilliant job of dividing humanity, including financing both sides of each battle. We are truly experiencing a transition of biblical proportion. Our history has been one big manipulation. We must save ourselves. We are not going to be saved. We never were going to be saved. And that's the lesson and power we must recover. There is an evolution going on with your soul as the prize. The dark is trying to entrap you in their world. I will pull you to my world. Pay particular attention to the presented to you. Surely that will not be my world. As the world awakens to the light, revelations will crush you. The deceit that has been led upon the earth must come to an end. If you've not paid attention, you will have difficulties taking it in all that once. For centuries, you have been victims of cruelty and harm. Universal laws are such that things must play out in a deceptive way. I am not punishing you. I am bringing to light and exposing the darkness you have lived in. I am putting center stage corruption and mistruths. I am educating the population to think for themselves. There is an ugly sight what I see. And the sooner it comes to light, the sooner change will come. Please do not be afraid. The support you have is immense. Pray to me for strength. Discernment is paramount for your survival. I speak these impactful words. My return comes soon. My intensity grows more as the time draws near. Open your eyes. You do not live in a friendly world. Officials cause harm. Laws are unjust. Wake up your neighbors. Inform who you can. I need everyone to question authority. If you find a headline that disturbs you, share it. Seek feedback. Question it. Discard it. You know the truth. You can see through it and beyond it. For you are not alone, never have been, 
never will be, unless you choose to be alone. That is your choice. Just as it is your choice to find the connection to the all. As you are working on the when in these moments, the all. When you have fully realized that you are the one, or a part of the one, the one is a part of you, and therefore, you are the one, know that. When you have fully come to realize that, there is nothing that you are not going to be able to create your life in front of you, to create the perfect life that you want. Do not consider. Even at an older age now, do not consider that this is the end, for this is not the end. This is just merely the beginning, the beginning of the new age, the new golden age of Gaia, and of yourselves within Gaia, for you are within Gaia. You are not simply on her, you are within her, and she is within you. So the next time you got out in Nader, feel that connection to her, simply taking your shoes off, feel the earth on your feet, feel the connection to her, that she is there for you, has always been there for you, and will continue to be there for you, even when she is ready to fully let go of the third dimensional expression. That is what this transition you are moving through is all about, to ready yourselves, and all of those around you, to move along with her, with Gaia. As she flips more fully away from the third dimension, into the fourth, then finally fully into the fifth dimension. And all of those that still hold unto the illusion of the third will no longer be a part of her expression, 